In this video, I'm looking at five reasons why you might want to upgrade to Traction Waveform 12 Pro or maybe jump into Traction Waveform Pro for the first time. And I'm going to save my favorite new feature till the last one, so stick around for that. Plus, I'll go over some smaller features that you might be interested in. And I'll also talk about what you might expect in the next version of Traction Waveform Free once that's released. But right now, let's jump in and check out my first new favorite feature, which is the Master Track. In previous versions of Waveform, you had this master track section down here, and you could add up to four plugins to this master track or mix bus section. And that's probably fine most of the time. And a workaround for that was to create another track, which was a master track, and then route everything into that track. Now in Waveform 12, we have the master track, which you can enable by going to this eyeball click on master track and you can see it's up there. Now you can see that my three plugins that I had down here are up there, but I can add, I think it's up to 14 plugins in this master track. And it's always going to be at the top here. Even if I were to scroll down, if this was a bigger project, it would still be at the top, making it very easy to access. And if I don't want to see the master track at the moment, I could go back to the eyeball, click on it, and it's gone until I need it again. Now this next new feature is more for guitarists, but it can be for anyone, and that's the Dual Guitar IR plugin. So if you go into Waveform Effects, you'll see that there's Dual Guitar IR or just Guitar IR, which is going to be a single IR loader or the dual loader, and I'm going to load up the dual one. So here it is now, and you can see it's really designed for guitarists, but you can load other IRs in here if you have your own IRs, maybe of different spaces. And you can see this has different spaces in it as well that you could access. So it does come with several IRs to begin with. And I'll just show it to you on this guitar track that I have here. It was recorded directly into the computer through a DI. And let's just load up an amplifier. Load that one up. We'll load up that cabinet there. All right. So let's hear what this sounds like with this off. That's the raw guitar right there. Let's enable the dual guitar IR. And you can hear that it really adds some nice color to the guitar, making it sound a lot more interesting and like it's played through an actual guitar amp. You can see in here you have some gain settings, you have low cut and high cut filter, you can change the cue of the filter and the mix for each side, plus you also have a width control and this delay, and I really like playing around with this delay, so let's do that right now. So that's pretty cool right there. That's the dual guitar IR plugin. Now along the same lines as plugins, all of the internal plugins in Waveform have been reworked. Plus there's some other new plugins in there. So let's check those out right now. In addition to this guitar IR, let's look at what else we have. We go to Waveform, Effects, and you can see in here we have this eight band equalizer, which is really nice. It's a nice transparent equalizer that can give you very surgical accuracy if you need it. You can enable all of your eight bands in here and you can edit it however you want. I really like this eight band EQ and you can also see that it shows you the EQ shape over here in the plugin list. So that's kind of a nice touch right there. Also in effects, we have a new distortion. 
DJ EQ, DJ filter. You have that dual guitar IR that we looked at earlier. Down here, you have natural reverb, non-linear reverb, plus some other new effects in there. And I really like the traction waveform effects. I do use them a bit like the compressor and I'll use the reverbs. So these new reverbs are really nice in there. And I like that they've reworked what they already had to just make this product a lot nicer. And not only did they add some effects, but there's also some new instruments in here as well. We can see there's this bass OSC, which is just a simple bass instrument. We also have the micro sampler and this rompler. And the thing with this rompler is it just kind of uses presets to generate some sounds. So you have a lot of drum kits in here, like 808s, 909s, and there's some other drum kits in there as well. You have things like Grand Piano. And you can see you have a bunch of other sounds in there. So that's something new that you get with this. If you just need a quick 808 or a piano sound or something like that, you can throw this on a track and easily add those sounds. Now, another new thing, which isn't as obvious as something like a new plugin, but it's the entire engine has been reworked. So this engine isn't a patched version of the older one. This is an entirely new engine, which is going to speed up your workflow and make things run a lot smoother. It helps with a lot of the new user interface features. Like you'll notice when I click on the plus sign here to add a new plugin, it opens up a browser and I could search right within this browser. Let's say I want to add an 1176 compressor. I could just put in 76 in here. We're going to see there's some different 1176s that I can use. A typical one that I'll use is the CLA 76. So I could just easily add that in there if I wanted to. Also things like when it's drawing the waveforms while you're recording, that's going to go a lot smoother and just recording overall is going to go smoother. Everything in this new engine is going to go smoother. So yes, this is another reason to upgrade to Traction Waveform 12 Pro. All right, now let's look at my favorite new feature that's going to save me so much time. This is the remove silence feature. So if you record vocals or anything really, and you have some space in there where there's nothing that you've recorded, but you know there's going to be some hum, maybe there's going to be some coughing or belly sounds or just anything that might come from the background, could be headphone bleed, it all adds sound into your track. Now, I don't want that in my song. Sure, some of the music might cover it up, but once I start adding compression and that sort of thing, it's going to push those sounds up. And you can see there's a lot of this empty space in here. What we can do with Remove Silence is right click on this. We're going to go to Remove Silence and Let's just move this out of the way. You can see that it's made some edits in here, but if we don't like where it is, say we want it to go a little bit finer, you can change the threshold a bit and you can see on the image where it's going to make slices and it also makes fades in those sections as well. So let's say I like that right there. We click apply and look what's happened. It's sliced that all up nicely for me and it's made fades where I want them. So now I've cut out all of those sounds that could be in between. It's made fades, so I'm not going to get any kinds of clicks or anything like that. And it took me like two seconds really to do that. Before what you would have to do is just go in manually, make your slices in your audio, adjust the size, adjust the fades all manually. And it would take a lot of time to do that. Now with remove silence, it's going to save me so much time. Now that was my top five reasons. There's some other features that they've added in here. We'll have a quick look at that. Go over to the welcome screen. You can see we have color scheme and this allows you to quickly change the color settings to something you might like more. And if you click that custom, you can see in here, there's even more presets that you can choose from. If you like the T7 look, the waveform 12 look, whatever look it is that you like, you can easily switch that in here. Or if you want, you can go in and customize this even further so you can make it your own. So if you're somebody who likes to tinker with the colors of the user interface and really make it your own, that's something that Traction Waveform 12 Pro gives you. 
Now, another new feature is in our MIDI editor. We can go to view and you can see show all notes, which is the default that you're used to, but you could also show notes in key. So this is just going to show you the notes that are in the key that you want. Also show notes in use. So you can see all the notes that you're using and you can see show named notes, which is the names of the notes there. And another new feature here is the new browser. So you can easily open up this browser, find sounds, presets, instruments, or whatever it is you need to add to your project. You can quickly find that in here very easily. And of course, there are many more new features in Waveform 12. It's well worth upgrading to. They've sped up the workflow, which was already very fast. So they've improved this thing quite a bit. Now, if you're a Traction Waveform Free user, you might be wondering what's coming to you in the next version of Waveform Free once they've released that. Now, I don't know for sure, but I'm going to assume that some of the basic things like the color settings will probably be in there. The browser is probably going to be included in the next version of Free. Um, some of the basic things like that, the basic user interface type things are going to be in waveform free. You're going to get that new audio engine that's going to make things run a lot smoother. Probably those MIDI views will be in there, I imagine. But things like the new plugins are probably not going to be in waveform free. The remove silence feature probably isn't going to be included in there. Some of these extra features that just make life a lot easier are probably not going to be included in waveform free, but waveform free is still an unlimited DAW. It's going to allow you to make any kind of music you want, and it's not going to limit you in any way. You're just not going to get some of those cool added features that just help out a bit, but not having those features isn't going to limit your music creation in any way. Now check out Traction Waveform Free and more free DAWs by clicking the video on the screen. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching for Audio Tech TV. I'm Zane, keep creating, and we'll talk soon.